I hope you guys liked my yesterday's video. Today let us see the rest of it. What? Is this me? So lifeless? Yes. Yeah, so what was missing in my previous phrase? The facial expression. When it comes to facial expression, three areas. The most underestimated eyebrows the windows to the soul eyes and the sharpest weapon mouth if you target on these three factors we are done with facial expression as simple as that what i suggest is you better go shoot a video of yourself talking about anything simple and just see how do you look if you are appealing and you're satisfied good job if you think that something is missing, maybe you should work on it and that is what is facial expression and you could see me, how am I dramatically working on my facial expressions. I'll tell you what the research says. People evaluate others' intelligence through the facial expression. So, don't give them a chance to underestimate your intelligence with a monotonous facial expression. Now talking about eyebrows, eyes and mouth, let us get into eyebrows. So when you have an expressive eyebrow and it is lifted up during a conversation, the person is submissive and really interested, curious. When you see someone holding the eyebrow like this, it's shrinking it towards the eyes, the person is suspecting and dominance. When somebody is not at all using the eyebrows during the entire conversation, the person is lifeless, monotonous, who is not an extrovert. So these are the three things. Start using it. When it comes to eyes, as I said, it is the window to the soul. Your eyes, it is really expressive and people hardly use it in their conversation because professionalism doesn't mean that being rigid and being so strict in carrying yourself it is like playing with all these elements and making it highly interesting because to talk and to someone listen it's not an easy task for both of us so i have to make it interesting by adding all these accessories and make it like beautiful like a bride and you have to actually enjoy this wedding ceremony simple when I talk about eyes, let me make it simple by giving you few suggestions on what not to do and how people, how actually you can evaluate people. When someone is often blinking their eyes during the conversation, the person is lying. Okay. So if you, if I suggest or if I declare that the person is lying, I have the responsibility to also give you the count. A human being on an average blinks maximum of seven times during a conversation in a minute. So unfortunately, if it makes me to blink often, which means like I'm cooking up a story, my blood circulation is increasing and which makes me to blink more than expected. That is what am I doing now? And the second thing is when someone is ignoring your eye contact, the moment you look at them, they take it off. The moment you look at them, they take it off, which means like they are not comfortable with you or not interested in the subject or they're trying to avoid you. The next one is when someone, when someone is really, really, uh, when someone is staring at you, means like, overdoing the eye contact just staring at you if you look at me i'm not at all blinking i'm just making a strong eye contact which means again the person is not genuine to the situation the person is trying to fake it it's not like reality next when the person's pupil you know what is pupil pupil is the inner part of your eye next to the cornea where it dilates when the pupil dilates, the person is really curious. So if you belong to sales department or somewhere in the marketing and you see like while selling or buying, if you see the person's pupil is dilated, which means the person, there are 100% chance for you to convince that person to purchase this product. So you may ask me, so how should I maintain my eye contact such that I look confident? It is always maintain a straight eye contact and be natural and always make your eyes comfortable by not overdoing this process so if we are in a conversation for an hour it is needless that every minute and second you have to look at me so you can relax chill out and you can actually connect with your book or your laptop or anybody else who is surrounded by surrounded by the 
situation it's okay it's okay so overall 70 percentage of your eye contact during the process is absolutely fine you can make it natural apart from all these things now coming down to the mouth so what <laughs> what is the contribution by the mouth apart from speaking so you may wonder what should i do with the mouth like all that i could do is to speak yes but you can always hold a smile imagine if i smile how far is my eyebrow my eyes everything is like glowing up so that is the amount of energy you have to transmit so for this i suggest that if someone is actually having a tight lip the person is really not interested or not easily like opening up to the situation Two, when somebody is having a frown, like again, he is not satisfied and it's hard to convince that person. And when someone has, the person is confident and there is a positive sign that things may crack down to your expectations. So this is what is all about mouth. In general, I suggest always have a gentle smile such that your face looks appealing so the more you start infusing this in your facial expression automatically your eyebrows and eyes will lit up and that's how you will look vibrant and extremely professional so to wrap up i suggest it apart from speaking there are much more volume that is spoken by our body so utilize it to the maximum eye contact decides the integrity and reputation of a person so always have a decent and respectful eye contact thirdly all these areas that we spoke never underestimated the research has already proved that these are a value adds to your success i'll see you again with much more energetic videos stay tuned